Hi, good morning Floss Tube or good afternoon at this point. Um, it's Helen D. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, I think. <laughs> All my days have run together. Um, my camera looks a little crooked and there's a lot of glare in my glasses, but it is what it is today. Um, I actually had a little time this afternoon, so I thought I'd make a quick video kind of fill you in on what I've been up to. So this will probably be short. They've all been kind of short lately, which is fine. Um, we are winding down school. I still don't... They told us May 29th was our last day for regular learning. And then we have two weeks of like extra learning for kids who need a little time catching up on things but they've given zero direction for the kids who don't. So we've been told that the last day of school is technically June 12th, but have been given zero direction on what to do between now and then. So we are kind of done on the 29th. We have a couple little things the next two weeks, but for the most part, vacation, vacation mode. <laughs> Um, the weather's been really nice up here. We've had some good days. We've been busy getting the garden in. We expanded our garden this year. Um, so that took a lot of work. Everything is planted now except the cucumbers. We had a hard time finding cucumbers and the ones we did find are like tiny baby cucumbers. So we have to just give them a little time, um, stick them in the sun in the window, baby them inside a little bit and let them get a little bigger. But the spot that they're going in is ready. So hopefully within another week or so we can get those out there. Um, we planted sunflowers. I have a couple little pickling cucumbers, herbs, two red peppers, and everything else is tomatoes. Tomatoes is really what we'll use the most of. So given the fact that we don't have a giant space, we thought that's what we'd focus on, that hopefully we can can, we'd like to be able to can spaghetti sauce, salsa, and like diced tomatoes or stewed tomatoes. So that's the plan. We're trying steaks, staking them this year with single stem, which is all new vocabulary to me. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But they're in. Um, and other than that, we're just trying to come up with some things to do over the summer. All of our summer stuff got canceled. Um, we were waiting on one last thing. It's definitely now been canceled. So we now, we went from having a really full summer to having an empty summer. Um, so we'll just try and, as everyone else is, come up with some things that we can do um, just with our little group, our little three-person circle. So uh, I've been stitching quite a bit. Um, I've only done one finish to share with you this time. I've got a couple things in the mail. Um, yeah, sometimes we were just outside and stuff, so it hasn't seemed like as much. So we will jump in. I'm going to start with my pile of whips, which are in no particular order. So we'll just pull out a bag and see what happens. Um, first up. Chinese Zodiac Stitch Along by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, I ordered their fabric and it was 14, I believe, count, picture this plus sand. This is the one that when I showed you the last time I was a little concerned it was not going to fit, but part two came out and it does, it had one of the corners. So from there I was able to do some math and I'm fine. <laughs> um, so that's that middle piece and the animals were part one and then part two is this fan on the edge and the little bits and bobs, the lantern, the flowers. So this will repeat in all four corners to make it square and then there's the other nine animals and more of these little tiny things. Uh, that comes out on the 15th of every month so I was able to finish it in a weekend, I think the 15th was a Friday or a Thursday and I just worked on it over the weekend and finished that up. So I'm up to date on that. Um, this one will be a finish, another half an hour I would have had it done. Um, I pulled this one out the other day and I was like, 
If I want this out for summer, I gotta get cracking on that. It's just been lingering. It is Summer Lineup by the Trilogy. And I think the reason it's taken me so long is because I did this on an 18 count. Um, it's Vintage Country Mocha, so it's small. Um, and it's hard. It's a little harder for me at night. But I'm almost done. I am changing the pattern. Has like flowers up there. I'm putting some clouds in. There are actually three of the clouds that are on the spring lineup piece. And I just need to fill them in. I um, outlined them when my son had his class meeting a little earlier just to know they'd fit. I changed a couple colors. Um, it brightened it up a little and I just didn't have the others. So I know I changed this. This was not even the called for border. It was only called for in a couple spots, but I liked it. Um, Classic Colorworks Deep Blue Sea. The ladybugs I did in Ladybug by Classic Colorworks. And then I didn't have the yellow or it didn't show up enough on my dark fabric and I used um, Weak Style Works Curry. So this will be done. I have a little pedestal frame that I have spring on, so I'll put summer in there. And then I do have fall and winter because I like my seasons. So maybe I can bust one of those out before fall or winter. <laughs> um, this is a pitiful start. I'll show you anyway, and it doesn't look like anything. Um, and I can't even show you the pattern. So that's not really worth it for you. There it is. Um, cross stitch, the cross stitch salon on Etsy. She released a few more Final Fantasy VII charts and I bought three of them and I'm doing them all on one piece of fabric. The fabric is 16 count picture this plus jade. Um, so I got started on that, but that's not seasonally dependent. So it kind of got the back burner for now. Uh, the other one, this is also a new start that again, I didn't, I don't have the picture. This is um, Frosted Pumpkin Summer Nights and Bonfire Lights. It's one of their little seasonal sayings and I don't, if it's a PDF, I don't print off the picture. I just print off the chart. So mine just says nights. This is also jade. It's a scrap of jade off that other one <laughs> that I had left. So I'd like to get this one done too for summer. Um, I did finally put my 4th of July stuff out. On Memorial Day, I kind of put out my patriotic stuff and I'll leave it out through the 4th. Um, and then after the 4th, usually after, usually, by the time actual start of summer rolls around, I take down all the some spring stuff and I put up summer stuff. And then when the 4th of July stuff goes down, I put up like late summer stuff, I guess. Summer stuff that could have gone up earlier, but didn't. So I put it up then and that stays out until fall. And then the last one I'm working on is um, Long May She Wave by Priscilla and Chelsea. Um, I'd like this one to go in that frame with all that stuff. There's a hole there and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and it's getting there. That's a big truck. So I'm using the Call For Colors. Uh, mine is being stitched on 14 count picture this plus dusk. Um, and there I am. So my truck is almost done. I have to do like up around these red ones and then fill in the dark blue. And then the truck will be done. The flag is just as big as the truck. So that will take some time as well. The border and the grass and stuff, I think will go quicker um, because there's not as much of it. So this being on the dark fabric, is a daytime stitch. Um, so I've been trying to like put a little in on that one and then move on to something else. Once I get summer lineup done, I need to kind of focus on this one a little more. So that's my whips and my two new starts. The Final Fantasy was a new start and the new Frosted Pumpkin 
was a new start. You'll notice none of my old whips are in there. They have not gotten any attention lately. They should have, but they have not. <laughs> um, other things I've been working on. One night I finished some stuff up. Actually, I finished this up. Where'd it go? I didn't bring the chart down. Um, I finished up, I was almost done the last time I did a video, was Red, White, and Moo. This is on Echo. Picture this plus Echo. I think this is a 14. So I need to finish this into a, some kind of small. Um, so I finished that up. And I was like, oh, what else do I have that small that I can just finish and get some of these bags emptied out and out of here? And I realized I had started um, Heart and Hand Elfin Around. I had done these two, but I hadn't done this one yet. So I did this one. So here's the first two. These are on that French Cafe Country Mocha. There's the first two. And here's the little third one. He's tiny. <laughs> They're all tiny. But he's like postage size, stamp size. He's really small. And this is a 16. So then I had a thought. The, um, is it on the back? This was the Santa she put out last year. And the colors are very similar. It has those similar looking elves in it. I'd like, I have this. I think if I could stitch that on the same fabric then make a, like a set of four pillows, a bigger pillow and three small ones. I would like to find like a sleigh, like a Santa sleigh, and kind of display them in that. Um, the pillows, the little ones, I'll have to make with like a long piece of regular fabric on the bottom to get them a little higher. So I'd like to get that Santa done. He shouldn't, he's not that big, so. Hopefully that's doable. So that was my other finish. And that was tiny. He, he might have even been like an evening. I had everything already in the bag. I didn't have to go find anything. So that was quick. Um, then I have two things that were um, new starts and their finishes. I realized that I've been... <laughs> Since we've been home, I've been working on what I want to work on. And what I've wanted to work on is stuff for me. So I've been working on my projects. Um, then I realized if I want to make something for my son's teacher, I better get cracking. <laughs> so I had picked up this one, which is Heartstrung Samplery Kind Words, Kind Words Never Die. Um, I got this at Market. It came out, of, came out a little before Market. And I had picked it up with the intention of making this as a gift. So I pulled this out. I didn't have the right colors, so I just pulled some colors. And I stitched this up twice. Um, here's the first one. Actually, this is the second one. This one is in like blues. The blue is, I think, Ariel Ada from Picture This Plus. And just some purples I had. I know the green is chopped chives because I ran. Oh, actually, this one's not. The other one is chopped chives and I didn't have enough. So I don't even know what I used for a green in this one. I just picked one. I made the little tiny buds yellow. Um, so there's that one. And then the other one I fully finished. And it has different colors too. Um, so this is finished on one of those pedestals that I found at Michael's. And it's done, I don't know if you can see, but I did a little pom-pom trim. Um, these pedestals are still available. If you just search pedestal, they come up. There's two different sizes. This is the big size. The one that I did um, Heart and Hands Spring Whirly Gig that I plan on doing the Whirly Gigs on is the smaller size. Um, I'm going to finish this other one the same way, and I'm hoping to do a tutorial when I do that of how I did it. Um, if there's ever a time before I need to give it away that I'm able to film a tutorial. So that way I can show you how I put that together. I got the idea for this one because this is another one that you guys haven't seen. I also stitched this one. 
This is Always for Old Glory from Heartstrong Samplery, and I finished it. This was the first one I did on one of these. Um, I stitched this twice. One of them is now tucked aside because that this was my Smalls Exchange for Frugal Yankee, which we were unfortunately unable to have. So I just tucked it aside, so I'll have it. Uh, and then I did one for myself as well. I believe I did this on Oaken, maybe, with the called for colors, except I did use a different blue because I didn't have the one they called for. So that is finished um, with some Lady Dot Pom Pom Trim on the edge. It's on a magnet so that I can swap it out for other, you know, I wanna do the turkey one um, she has a couple others in this series that fit perfectly on this. So again, these little pedestals are great because you can stand them up or the way these little bumps are, I, I actually prefer mine sitting down and they rest on themselves like it's a little easel, like a picture frame. So versatility. <laughs> um, so hopefully I can get that tutorial done when I finish the other one, um, in case anyone's interested. The same way I do those, I would think would also work for a tart. I've never done a tart. Um, or I have finished some just flat circular ornaments the same way. Um, so hopefully I can get that done. That's all my stitching. I did have, I have a couple things that came a little gifties. Um, I have gotten some haul and some purchases, but it's been fabric um, and floss, and it's all put away and in projects and ready to go. Some of it's even started to been, have been used, um, but I haven't gotten any charts in. I've been trying to stitch kind of some of the ones that I've had on backlog. So, um, so stitchy kindness. Uh, my friend Wendy was cleaning out her stash, neatening and organizing, and she found some Ada that she knew she would never use. So she sent that down. So that was a surprise. Um, and I will definitely use it. Um, I got, actually, I think the day after I made my last video, this was in the mail. This was a thank you gift from Cynthia Brew, Stitching in the Light. Um, Sister Stitcher, she, she's the one who'd asked Lynette and I to do this, the frugal finishing with her. She used her, her um, Goodwilled corduroy on there, and I'm desperate now to go to Goodwill and find some. Actually, I'm desperate for my husband to finally realize that his corduroys that have holes in them are like past their prime, and I want to steal them and cut them up. Um, so that will happen. So thank you. She said, I hope I got the hair color right. Um, I was going to tell her, I think I did tell her, I hope you put lots of gray in there, but I have since box dyed it. <coughs> now it is acorn, apparently, according to the box. I still haven't gotten it cut, but it was laying nicely for you today, so I thought this is a good day to get this done, because it doesn't always lay nicely. Then I also got um, like a thank you gift from Carla at Cobweb Corner, who's so sweet. She sent this little box and I had no idea it was coming and it opened it and it smelled good. Um, she sent some soaps and lotion from a company out by her in um, Iowa, the Rare Bird Soap Shop. So lotions and these beautiful soaps. There were three. <laughs> and when I messaged her, I told her, there were three. My son claimed to this one. So he's been working away on rosemary and lavender. So his bathroom smells nice for a change. Um, so thank you very much. That was unnecessary, but we will definitely use those. I love lotion. Um, that is all, I think. I can't think of anything else. Um, I'm hoping to get some of those summer pieces wrapped up. So summer lineup, the truck, that little frosted pumpkin. When Heart and Hand, not Heart and Hand, Hands on Design's new um, Liberty flower jar comes out, I eventually want to do the jar, but I think this year I will definitely do the small. Um, 
and that one in the red, white, and moo I need to fully finish. I have a little container that has some spring smalls in it that I'd like to swap out with some patriotic smalls. Um, and that will give me two. <laughs> so that's a start. Um, and then June, I don't know. June I might take to kind of finish some stuff up. And I'm still thinking of doing Christmas in July. Like not a set I have to do so much, but pulling out a couple of things I'd like to get started that are Christmas projects um, and getting them out and ready. I also, I had to dip into my project bag that had my stacks, my reindeer stacks. I thought I had three of those done. I only have two of those done. I'd like to have four of those done. So um, maybe I can bust out another one of those so that I'm a little closer to getting those done. Still haven't really been able to go very many places, like to look for stuff. So I'm using what I have in house to finish, which is fine. It's a good way to use up things I've already got. Um, not all of my fabric is quite what I'm looking for, so sometimes that's a little challenging. Um, it is what it is, and if I don't get it finished this year, it can sit in the drawer <laughs> until next year. I do have, I, I was going to finish hands-on design, the Halloween ones I did last year, um, Scary Apoth Apothecary. They're kind of pennant shaped. I didn't think my brain had it in me. And I have, I have five of them. And then the new Secret Santas are the same shape. So I better get used to that shape. <laughs> but I wasn't up for it yet. And I know she has a tutorial, I think, on her website. One day. It'll happen. All right, I think that's it. I was kind of subdued today because everyone's home. <laughs> Um, my husband's right upstairs working, my son's playing on the iPad. I said, okay, I'm gonna go make a video. No one need me for 20 minutes and we'll get this done. <laughs> I hope you're all hanging in there and staying safe and doing well and I will be back at some point. Bye.